these are the tomatoes that I just brought in from the garden. I have some Romas. These are big boys I never grew up, so I guess they're little boys. Got a couple peppers. And what's happened is that because it's such hot temperature, some of my tomatoes really took a shellacking. And so what I'm going to do is um, take these before they wither and die on the vine. I'm going to take them and make them into a, my favorite uh, Dutchman's tomato sauce. After picking them, of course, the first part of the process is to wash them clean. Now that I wash these beautiful, ugly tomatoes, <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and uh, slice them up. And that's a pretty, pretty simple. You just cut off the bad ends. And then cut them into pieces about a quarter of an inch in size. And then I'll put them in my pan until I'm ready to use them. Okay, this is the leftover waste of the uh, tomatoes. And there's my nice dish of them all cut up. I'm going to put this bowl on the side and do some of my other chores. None of this is going to waste, by the way. This goes into a bag that I'm going to dump into my uh, super compost tank in order to make a compost for uh, my new vegetables that I'll be growing. Next I'll take my two peppers and I'll clean them, cut them up, and add them to the tomato bowl. It appears that I have a lot more tomato than I expected, so uh, I have approximately a, a cup of pepper there, which I don't think will be enough for that amount of tomatoes. So I went out to the garden and I got myself a, my third uh, pepper. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut up three uh, yellow onions. Uh, these are not from my garden, unfortunately. Uh, this was my first year here on the homestead, and I didn't produce enough in my garden this year. I'll certainly make sure that next year I do. So I went and bought these, but they are local uh, onions, so there's a little reprieve at having local onions at least. I've diced up about, uh, I'm going to say, two cups of onion. Now I'm going to chop up about, I'm going to say about a quarter cup of uh, basil, and of course it's from the garden. There's my uh, quarter cup of basil chopped up. Next I'm going to take uh, six cloves of garlic and dice them up. I'll take a quarter cup of uh, olive oil, and I'm going to add that to my saucepan. Now I'm going to go ahead and heat the uh, oil up. Reduce down the heat just to get it warmed up. Once that heats up, I'm going to go ahead and add my onion. My garlic. my basil, and about a teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to let that cook down for a little bit and I'll keep stirring it until the onions get clear. Now that it's been, the onions have gotten to a clear state, it's time to add the tomatoes. And I'm going to add the pepper. And I'm going to raise the heat just a tad. 
and bring this to a boil. Now that I got my tomatoes up to a boil, I'm going to put in my secret ingredient. And that's this McCormick's Grill Masters Chipotle and Roasted Garlic. And that's my secret ingredient. And I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle that over this. It gives it a very unique taste. I like it. And for me, that's all that matters. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, stir this around in for a minute or two here. Then I'm going to reduce the heat and let this cook down for approximately, I'm going to say, around two hours. Well, I've reduced this down to a point of where I like it. Uh, you can make it thicker if you wish. I uh, think this is fine for me. What I'm going to do is shut off the heat. I'm going to let it cool down. And then I'll take a portion of this and I'll put it on the side for uh, some pasta that I'm going to put it on this evening. Then the other portion of it that's remaining I'm going to freeze because I use this uh, when I make a lot of my wild game meals. I'll use this sauce on along with it. And um, by the way, this is just an ideal sauce to put on uh, chicken. Heat up some uh, chicken with the sauce on it. It's absolutely delicious. So, this is our Dutchman's tomato sauce recipe. I hope you enjoy it. Give it a shot. And you have a good day.